Hi guys, I'm so excited to see you all again. Welcome to episode three of Coffee with Kira. And I am so, so, so freaking stoked for the guest today. Some of you may know her as a fellow Love Islander from season one, my season, which is crazy because I feel like I don't talk to a lot of people from my season, but this beautiful human has just been in and out of my life and stayed in my life for the past, what, four years now. So I am so happy to introduce Miss Emily. Hi Yay. guys. <laughs> Emily's like, I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm like, so nervous. I'm so nervous. That's, but that's insane because you give like bad bitch energy online. So like, and I feel like I do that too. So whenever people are like, wait, how are you nervous? I'm like, I don't know because it's just my phone in front of my face. And now I'm with someone else. So I'm getting nervous. I know, I know. Me too. I feel like when we have social media platform like Instagram and stuff, it's so easy to just post yeah. a picture and make yeah. it whatever caption you want. And it's like, I'm a bad bitch. But then in person, I'm like... I'm scared. <laughs> but no, I'm so happy because I feel like, when was the last time I saw you? It was a minute ago. Uh, yeah, I feel like, was like, it? Like, I don't even remember. Was it X on the Beach? Was it literally filming X on, X on the I Beach? Think we maybe. didn't see each other after that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't well, remember. If you guys don't know her and you're from family TikTok life and that's why you're here, Emily was on my season of Love Island. It's literally our relationship on there, I think, is like one of the most talked about things still from season one, even though we didn't actually couple <laughs> Yeah, I know. Like, it was this crazy situation where I was an OG kind of on from day one, and you were dropped in as, like, the bombshell towards the end, end, which is, like, the hardest time to come in when relationships are like this. Yeah. And she just stirred the freaking villa up. Like, how was that coming in at that point? So I was actually so nervous coming in when I did because it yeah. was at the end of the season. I was the last bombshell to come in. I got to watch the show up until that point. Everybody, stressed. I was so, I was like, <laughs> I'm not even, I'm going to laugh one episode yeah. because everyone's so coupled up there's no one's gonna even give me a chance mm -hmm. and i remember just being like this sucks because i was in sequester for so long yeah. like waiting and then when i went in i was like okay no one's gonna even give me the time of day because everyone's like married in their couples but you're hot so why would you think that i was so <laughs> so this also like i was just a regular ass college student like i had never had any exposure social media wise yeah, or tv yeah. wise or anything like that i had no idea what to expect yeah, really. I think that was like the beautiful thing about our season though and why so many people loved it because I think it was only me and Caro that had kind of been on social media and doing yeah. stuff already. Everyone else, like Zach, the winner, he like worked at Trader Joe's. Exactly. <laughs> like all the rest of us, I was like working at American Eagle. Like I had no but idea. it was dope because yeah. like it's become such a big thing but with it being season one, I feel like there it was just more like normal people. There were a lot of people on there to find love. Exactly. Genuinely. Everyone was there like I'm finding my husband, I'm yeah. finding my wife. Coming in, were you immediately so you obviously partnered up with Weston <laughs> <laughs> funny to talk about this because it was literally four years ago like this conversation is so outdated but i'm so here for it it's so funny because i was watching the show up until i went on yeah so i got to see a lot of weston i got to see a lot of you and everything so coming in i had like an idea of who i was interested in mm -hmm. and you and weston were on the top of yeah. my list but going in again i was nervous i'd never done anything like this before so i wasn't sure how to act and what to you do you came in like you seem so confident like even with all of us girls I also think with this season like we were very welcoming as well so maybe that made it a little I don't feel like it was like me no girls no I came, came in, in and all the girls were so nice to me I wasn't expecting that and either. I was just like, like ah, I loved it <laughs> I was like <laughs> no, I feel like all the girls were just like, when you were walking or something, and someone was like, oh my God, she has abs. And I was just like, like literally they put it in all the clips when like fans make like those little cute videos uh -huh. of me just like staring at you. Uh -huh. by, like, yeah. You tongue that. out of my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> and then I think it was... Who was it? Kelsey. She was like, oh my God, have you ever kissed a girl? I was like, girl, please. Of course I've kissed girls. But that was like an insane thing, I think, for you to come on and be like open about that as well. Even though like sexuality wise, like what would you say your sexuality is? So I feel like over the years, I've grown a lot more and learned a lot more about myself. Yeah. Um, I've actually, when we were filming Love Island, I had never been in a relationship with a girl at that point. Yeah. I've just had casual hookups mm -hmm. here and there. But then since we filmed Love Island, I have been in two relationships with two different girls. That has been amazing. <laughs> and I feel like right now for me, I'm just completely open to, yeah. it's just all about energy. It's all about vibes mm -hmm. for me. So I don't care if you're a guy. I don't care if you're a girl. Yeah. If I think you're hot and I vibe with you, then. I love that. Yeah. That's what I feel like I always say. And I feel like on the show, I think it was both of us. I didn't feel fully comfortable. Like I was open about my sexuality on the show, but I was like, okay, Love Island is obviously done a certain type of way. Yeah. And I mean, I think 
think that they've said that there was like a UK season, I think season two or something where two girls coupled up. I've heard that through like the roundabouts, but I just never knew that like I could actually do that on there. So when you came on there and I remember you saying in one of your YouTube videos, you were like, yeah, she was talking about it a lot in the beach hut, but like I didn't hear it like exactly. out and about and like we just didn't ever fully pursue and like go down that road, I think in there because number one, yeah, I would like get into these beach huts and think it was like therapy. Yeah. It was like my therapy. For, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, it away is. from the, is. like the people. And I was just like going on and on and on about you like when you came in, but like you didn't see I didn't that. know that. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I feel like a lot of viewers don't understand is they're like, because when I when I watched it back too, I yeah. was like, I did not know that she <laughs> felt this way about me. Otherwise, I would have 100% pursued it. But yeah. like you said, I knew that there was a certain way Love Island had done things and I never saw season two of the UK. I never yeah. saw two other girls or two other guys coupling up. Yeah. I had that same question in my mind. Like, is it supposed to be guys and girls mm -hmm. coupling up with each other? And then like you said, we don't see what everyone's talking about when they're in the yeah. beach hut. All we get to see is the interactions that we do have with each other. And I feel like we had a brief conversation about being interested in each other, but that was also, I'm pretty sure the day of the recoupling. Yeah, I remember we we sat down like by the pool or something yeah. and you'd already, I think, chosen like Eric and Weston to go on those dates. Yeah. And I think I was just like, I get more nervous around girls. Like I won't say that Me I- too. <laughs> Me like, too. Like I won't say I like girls more. Like I'm at the same place as you now where for a while I did think I was a lesbian and then I was like, wait, I like guys, but obviously I like girls more because I've dated them more. Now I'm like, I just like the person, but I still in like the dating world, as far as going for a girl, I get so freaking nervous. Me too, <laughs> so me I too. Think time just like was swept away by us in there because we were having these conversations, but not as often. I wasn't being as forward as like the other guys going for you. Yeah, exactly. Like I remember Eric was just like, <laughs> oh, I know. And I'm like, oh, still, uh, I don't know what I... <sighs> <laughs> I feel so bad for Weston if he watches this. But uh, Weston, Weston's killing the game. He's doing his thing. Yeah, I'm no, sure there's like no. He, I've bad actually blood. spoken to him recently. Um, he reached out to me just to check on me and see yeah. how I was doing and stuff, which is good because we had a very toxic, toxic relationship and a very toxic breakup, and we yeah. did not speak to each other for two years. I think like when we broke up, it was like that's it. We blocked each other on everything. We literally did oh. not speak for two, um, maybe three years since we filmed. I think four years ago. Oh my god, I did yeah. not know that. No, I no. That in there, I mean, not to like be like, Ooh, but in there, you guys obviously were somewhat toxic, so it I maybe know, makes yeah. sense that we it had. came out because a lot of the times, like when you go through issues in the villa, and there may be small issues, like once you get in the real world, it's like put under a magnifying Magnified, glass, yes. So you're like, oh, I really didn't fuck with this in there, and now even more, Ye I can't stand exactly, you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, like, right from the jump, I mean, Weston and I kind of had our issues, yeah. especially because I feel like there were things that he was saying to you and to, <laughs> to me to you like you know he was like playing the whole acting like he was 100% about me yeah. but then like he was also giving that energy oh, to there. you yeah in oh, there oh I thought you were saying like in the outside world I was I like I don't know what you're talking <laughs> you're like I don't remember this <laughs> Like when I saw him like literally once in Miami, I was like, he, I don't think he like said anything. Oh my God. No, I mean on the show, on the show. On the show. Yeah. So. And it's crazy because even on the show, they didn't fully, they show me sitting down next to him that football night and me being like, yeah, so me and you, but they didn't show him the, the day before at the fire pit, literally being like, so me and you. So exactly. it looked like I brought it up. Exactly. But I really wasn't the one that brought it up. Yeah. You know? And that's the other thing too about re filming reality shows like this is we are filming 24 hours a day, yeah. seven days a week. And then they're just picking the parts. Cherry picking. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. That that they want to show that goes with the, whatever storyline that they want to create. So there's a lot of things that do happen that aren't shown on TV. Yeah. yeah. That can portray us in a certain way. For sure. Yeah. I even remember, and it's why I got LASIK. Like they would always use clips of me being like, <laughs> <laughs> but it was literally because I was blind. Like I could not see. So they would like take a video clip of me like looking shady. I remember it was like <laughs> Eric. He was like, yeah, I'm kind of into Caro too. Eric was saying. And like they show me being like, but I literally was just like looking <laughs> across the like, village. I can't see. <laughs> like then I just started smiling. Like once we went on X on the beach, we've been on a couple of shows together, guys. Like once I went on X on the beach, I was like, okay, if I am like trying to see something, I'm gonna smile too. So they can't use yeah. this clip. But <laughs> you're like literally. <laughs> but no, coming out of the villa and just seeing like the response of how many people wanted us together. Yeah, was I still to this insane. day I'm like, I wish I knew that. I wish I knew how you felt. I wish I knew that you know we would have had so so much support and yeah. acceptance for whatever it is that we wanted to do yeah but that all came after the
the show. And I feel like after seeing that, you, we were both in relationships. You were with yeah. Cashel. Yeah. I was with Weston. For a while, we didn't really Mm-mm. communicate. And I thought you hated me, to be I honest. I thought you hated me, too. <laughs> I thought you hated me, too. At the reunion, I remember us sitting down and talking. But I was like, I think she hates me. So oh it's God. funny well, that also, you think that, too. I got really drunk at the reunion. Everyone did. I it got was so drunk. It was a scary time, guys. I was crying. I remember I was crying. I was fighting with Weston. Yeah. I was just... A lot was going on. I even remember I felt like so many couples were like still together, but they weren't. And it was just like very confusing for me. I was like, what is going on? I was still at that point definitely head over heels in love with Cashel. But that ended badly. Yours ended badly. Yeah. And then we ended up going on X on the Beach together, which is like another reality show which once again it was just like what's the saying like the the the, line of stars or like it wasn't i'm so bad at sayings i can never get (laughs) them together but the stars weren't aligned aligned. yeah (laughs) and and that just ended up on happening on x on the beach as well like i remember we both knew that we were going on and we were like okay this is the time this is our chance this is our chance men just stay fucking it up (laughs) Literally not guys getting in the way every time. Yeah, we were both like, okay, this is our time. Like, we're going to have a chance to be stuck in a house together again and fully be able to, like, pursue each other, see how it goes. And I think even with the production on that show, a lot of things were getting mixed up. I remember I was supposed to go in on day one, like one of the producers told me. And then someone got, like, some weird infection in their mouth and, like, dropped out so they had because they had to get their, like, jaw wired shut. Oh, shit. Something fucking crazy. So they put me in later. So I was already, like, in this weird place of being kept in a hotel room and yeah that show i mean it just it wasn't done well like even the hotels like everything i was like this is really not a good environment to i be ate in. like cardboard pizza for like two yeah it straight. was just it was really bad i'm vegan they didn't have like anything for me so i was like mentally just done but they put me in a week and a half i think before you it was something pretty yeah decent period of time yeah um and yeah i ended up like falling in love with this guy <laughs> like literally after a couple days in there like I think I was love bombed though but it was just this weird thing that happened so quick that then you come and it was just I mean like how did you feel doing the show like were you in the same place of like okay this is like our moment yes for sure 100% like going in even in my interviews um, I was like I really want another chance with my ex-girlfriend Kira yeah Um, I feel like even after filming Love Island when we kind of rekindled things yeah we never really had a lot of time because you lived in LA yeah. I lived in Dallas or Miami either one we would just take like drunk trips together exactly. and just be like all over each other exactly. for the week boot up for the week and then it was like bye I know that it was like bye back to our <laughs> regular scheduled program so um I was going in thinking okay so we're, we're gonna actually have a lot of time together to really see if this is something that could work out yeah in real life in the real world so going in I was like one track minded I was like Kira I don't care about anybody else like I don't want to get to know anybody else yeah and going in like obviously I did have Eli trying to pursue me <laughs> oh my god that man oh i love him i love him but do you i was still just talk like, to him at all no, no not really i mean yeah. like he'll he'll dm me sometimes on instagram yeah and he'll just have like a short little conversation of like, course he will um yeah <laughs> oh i love him he's so sweet but i was just so not interested i was like i just want to get to know kira yeah. and i come in and kira's like oh i actually am like talking to someone else and it was this guy yeah, we, we don't need to name him. You can bleep that out, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> I bleeped his name out of everything, and it's just because I don't, I don't need his energy. He doesn't need mine. It's good to be separated and done. Okay. You know? Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry for a different day. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I said you single um. <laughs> yeah so going in I was just like 100% focused on just getting to know you and then obviously I came in and, which is completely understandable like when yeah. we're in an environment like that and the whole show is based on forming relationships forming connections with people if there is somebody in there who's good looking and they are pursuing you yeah. and you get you get to have a lot of time with them then it's very natural to form connections and then when you have more time with someone else kind of like what happened on my season or on our season of Love Island yeah. when you have more time with someone you're able to build more of a connection with them and yeah. me coming in later much later than you mm-hmm. and you had a lot of time with that obviously hindered us getting to know each other yeah and i am when i watched the show back i was like wow this is a really embarrassing show for me because <laughs> i was just so <laughs> 
like embarrassed. I think it was embarrassing for all of us. It was definitely one of those shows where it was just like, what, what is happening? Yeah. Like, what is everyone? Like, are you all drunk? Like, what is going on? And I mean, some nights we were like, yeah. there were times where we weren't getting that much alcohol, but there were other times where we were definitely getting alcohol. Oh, I remember there was a, there was a, there was a night that I made it very known that I was going to confront you uh, <laughs> because I was really mad about the whole situation. And they were just like, here's some alcohol. Yeah. Some yeah. Alcohol. I remember that night. And I remember like the rest of the cast they were like crawling like doing all these yeah. things to like listen and watch us and i had been prepared because i was like you, oh everyone you, you <laughs> held yourself so well i did not i was shaking in my boots though because you're you're intimidating you're like of course you're beautiful but then you were genuinely screaming at me and i was like oh my god <laughs> yeah and it's so funny because i feel like the way that i talk i i talk really with passion yeah. and i don't realize it until i watch myself back on camera and i'm like i'm not yelling and i'm like and i watch it back i'm like i'm yelling i like I'm your feistiness yelling. though I think oh. that's what makes you like you. Like you're just yeah. the type that you're gonna like tell someone off, yeah. and you're gonna like have your say, and don't don't fuck with Emily type yeah, vibes. I, I'm very confrontation. Like I I don't mind confrontation. Like if I yeah. have an issue with somebody, like I'm ready to voice it. I like because otherwise, if I hold it all in, like yeah. I just get super super angry. Well, you, so. you voiced it for sure. <laughs> I did. I did. No, and it I was just really crazy. Yeah, it was like this weird thing. Yeah, I fell in love with that dude. We weren't able to have that chance. <laughs> And then I'm gonna say it. I can take it out if you want me to. <laughs> Don't say it. I already know what you're gonna say. <laughs> yeah, so we like we make up towards the end of the show, I would say. Yeah. They didn't even show the clip, but we're like all around this table, we're talking, like we hug, like we're good. Because before that I think we were kinda like Yeah, we were both really just like, like we had not... that conversation, we were like Yeah, exactly. We were both like <laughs> I said, whatever. Um, but then we all get out. You know, the finale happens, whatever. The cast gets out. We go to the hotel. And at that point, you're just delirious. Like, you you want to, like, release steam. You're, like, hanging out with all these people that you were had all these cameras around. And exactly. then all of a sudden, there's no cameras. And yeah. we're being ourselves on the show. But there's a little relief when there's not a camera around that you're just like, all right, buck wild. Let's exactly. go. Exactly. <laughs> like, that's our... We all get out and we're like, okay, no cameras, yeah. no microphones, whatever, however much alcohol we want. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I we had a lot of alcohol that night. Yeah. And I just remember me and Emily taking shots, hanging out. We were starting to get kind of close, kind of cuddly. And I remember the guy I was with, he was like, you know, I think I asked him actually. You I did. Was <laughs> You did it. You, I was like, not, let me not put this it. on him. Yeah, I was you like, I think I want to kiss Emily. And he was like, go ahead. Like, do your thing. Like, we just started. You know, you don't need permission. Like, I know you guys have history. Like, this, this, and that. So I, like, walk up to Emily and I just grab her and I start making out with her. Oh, my God. I was and so like happy. <laughs> I was like, oh. everyone's like, oh, oh, whatever. I mean, I don't see anyone else around me when these things are happening. I'm just like, Either. in the moment, I'm like, I wasn't able to really kiss her in there because of all of the drama that happened. Yeah. But she looks really good. The alcohol's hitting me. <laughs> I look at the guy I'm with. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go over there and kiss her. And then he's just like, yeah, cool. Do your thing. So we ended up kissing. And then was I initiating again when he you came? Initiated. <laughs> I was like all for it, obviously, but... <laughs> Yeah, yeah we're just gonna, just him. Uh, he was, um, you know, the whole time leading up to this, he was so anti Emily. Yeah, he hated you. Like he hated <laughs> me. He hated me. And I remember even Ray on the show was like talking to him, and he's like, "What if you three like couple up and you guys are a couple?" And he was like, "No." <laughs> He was like, no. He's like, absolutely not. I want Kira to myself. Yeah. And so that's why him and I were beefing so hard. You're like, I want Kira. He was like, I want Kira. And we were just not. But then <laughs> we got out. And yeah, and we got out. And like, I went over, kissed Emily. She uh, kissing me back and then came over. And I was like, you guys kiss. Like, why not? <laughs> we're only where were we we were in argentina right no no where were we? we were in spain in Can yeah canary spain. Island. yeah canary islands and i was like you guys kiss and he looks at me with like these big doe eyes like really <laughs> i think he was actually just like terrified yeah he, like, was, he, so, was, he was but of both of us like he was definitely so intimidated because we're very like strong energy like we are women like we go for what we want we do yeah. what we want and you know i always say as long as you're not hurting anyone and you're having fun and everyone's saying yes and you're getting approvals you know like we were just having fun being an adult and kikiing so i'm like you guys kiss they end up kissing <laughs> and then cutting the story short pretty much we all end up going back to the hotel room and that was that but <laughs> it was a freaking night it was a moment to remember for sure i remember like throughout our relationship like seeing your post sometimes and stuff like that and he would just like look over my shoulder and i was never doing it in like a i'm cheating on you way or like anything negative i was just like she's still hot and yeah. he would be like yes she is <laughs> 
<laughs> that was definitely a fun experience. Would you say you liked Love Island more or X on the Beach? Like oh my gosh. In, inside the house. Love Island, 100%. Yeah, same. One, same. 100%. Yeah. I feel like, like you said before, mostly everybody was coming from just like their regular lives, never had cameras on them or anything like that. So everybody was super genuine and it was, yeah. I feel like Love Island was so much like go with the flow. Like the producers were very encouraging of like just doing whatever you mm-hmm. want. And I also feel like the editing in the way that they showed Love Island was basically just how it went. Yeah, it was just like watching a group of friends having fun over the summer. Yeah. You know, I feel like the rest of the seasons, yes, they may have had more drama. Sometimes our season is called like the boring one, yeah. whatever people want to say. But I think it was one of the most authentic seasons of we really weren't being pushed to do anything. It right. wasn't really produced. Like it was just us doing whatever we wanted. And yeah, so it was a little bit more calm, but I still think it had its drama and it, it had its like realness. Like there yeah. was like a really authentic undertone to it that made everyone like feel like, oh, I'm just watching like a group of friends. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But with doing like shows and stuff, do you feel like it's changed you at all or like dealing with kind of people's reactions or people saying mean things, you know, like because it can be harsh coming off and people right. having an idea about you and and just like saying some really gross things. Like I remember someone just saying to me, they were like, obviously you're broken, like the way that you were bouncing around, like you're scared of commitment, like who broke you? And I just remember being like you, oh like what God, are you yeah. talking about? Like, yeah. have you gone through that? Honestly, I feel like even before I did any reality TV, TV or any social media like that I always kind of had the mindset of like I really don't give a fuck what anybody thinks Good. or says about me and that has been super helpful in doing things like this mm-hmm. and I feel like I've said I always have that mentality um, but I feel like coming out of Love Island luckily for me like I didn't really get a lot of haters Good. I feel like I think it's because I went in at a later time so mm. it was like only a short amount was shown of me and they I feel like what was shown was pretty positive like Good. so I I didn't really have any a lot of hate um, but I did gain a lot more confidence coming out of these types of things because um, I don't know I like I said I I was didn't have any spotlight on me before so I didn't really have any others any a lot like the mass of of opinions that we have when we do things like this but I don't know I feel like well social media in general so like you're just like but you're so human but nothing ever rocks you no honestly that's insane Emily I I feel like that's it's not a lie I swear I swear I swear okay so for me if it's teach me like only- I'm like how <laughs> how because still to this day I could get like 500 beautiful comments and there's one that's mean and I'm like Ugh. no because for me I just feel like haters are only hating because they have issues with themselves they don't have to feel confident in themselves and so for me whenever I do see a, a hateful or negative comment I'm just like I feel bad for them I know that it has nothing to do with me because I know who I am as a person and I love who I am and I know like whatever mistakes that I do make I grow from them and I really am confident in the person that I am so I just feel like when I get negative comments and stuff I don't see it as being a reflection of me at all I just see it as being a reflection of them and I just feel sorry for them and you know hope that they heal and I love that I think yeah that's I don't, some amazing advice I'm like I will play that back every yeah, single time should, that I'm like going through it I'm like play this clip because <laughs> yeah hell yeah like you are yeah. yourself and obviously they're definitely in a place of like hurt and and insecurities that they feel yeah. the need to bring someone else down exactly and sure. nobody knows you the way that you know you you really can't listen to what other people have to say especially people that don't know you that have yeah. never met you like yeah. these people what do they know so and Absolutely you're such an, you're such an amazing person and like I like you said I've known you for four years now and it's crazy it's really Really crazy. It's crazy we've got to see each other grow and evolve over the time and yeah. you know for the four years that I've known you like I don't have a single bad thing to say about you I think you're beautiful I think you're confident I think you're so kind to everybody that you know Emily. and you're so genuine so don't ever let anybody else tell you otherwise <sighs> <laughs> I said, want to go on a date after this? Yeah, yeah, duh. <laughs> no, I mean, I love you for saying that in general. I think that I'm grateful to have you in my life still because, like I was saying before, I don't really talk to many people from like our season or even like reality world. Like I'm in it, but sometimes it's really hard to meet normal ass, authentic people in it, or you're never sure if they're going to be the same person that they're inside of the villa outside, you know? Yeah. And I just think that you've always stayed a true, genuine person too, even if you might have gotten into it with people, same as me. Like we're just being ourselves and we're going to say whatever we're thinking to your face yeah and I think a lot of people in this industry don't do that like they'll talk shit and then they'll be like buddy bud with like uh-huh. the people that are talking shit about and I'm like yeah what is going on here like yeah. this doesn't make sense that's like the world that we live in sometimes do you still talk to anyone like besides me I know Ray was on the show with us as well for X and the Beach like do you talk to anyone else oh my gosh well Ray's just the homie of Ray's, all time I, I love him I love him he's <laughs> such good energy he's great remember that Low Island clip where they they like like, like and like. it was mostly me and you and I was like oh my god call 
call us out right here, right now. Know, Why don't you? There's actually an app that I just downloaded. It's called Elevate, oh. and it's to help oh, elevate yeah. your I did vocabulary. That. I did that before the challenge because I was like, oh, I got to be smart. Exactly. <laughs> I w- oh, my gosh. Love Island, there was a clip of, what was I saying, 25 divided by 3 is 10 or something. You know, they catch us looking dumb, uh, and they do it on purpose. I know, I know. They highlight any dumb moments. They're like, you're hot. We're going to make you look dumb. Uh, yeah. I'm I like, know. I was a straight-A student, I promise. I know. I'm like, you I were a smart one, college. too. Yeah. I graduated college, I swear. Literally. But do you talk to anyone, like, besides me and Ray from our season? From our season? I feel like some Kelsey moved to Miami yeah. recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, she's engaged. Yeah, I, yeah. So I haven't been... I talked to her a little bit last year when she first moved. Um, we were chatting a bit, and I was in, I invited her out to a few things. Um, but other than that, I feel like, no. I mean, Weston did reach out to me recently, and we've just been chatting a little bit here and there um kind of oh is there anything there still no <laughs> no 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 that is that is a chapter that is closed are you sure stay closed. <laughs> i mean i think so <laughs> next season of love island games i know right <laughs> emily weston maybe kira the love triangle continues ah! Imagine. So and, and I have not been I have not seen Weston since we broke up yeah um so we've just had short conversations here and there just kind of checking in on each other see how, seeing how we're doing and it's been completely platonic I love that I but don't it's have, been like respectful and nice yeah 100 yeah. percent. and it's been really nice because we did have such a toxic ending and we I feel like we had a lot of I don't want to say hate because I think that's a strong word but we had a lot of kind of resentment towards each other for a long time so I think that we both didn't really wish each other well yeah and now now we've grown so much as people and I don't hold on to grudges. I don't want to have any negative energy. I feel like your energy and the vibes that you give off and you have is is everything. It's who you are. Mm-hmm. So I like to remain positive. I would love to have a good relationship with everybody. Yeah. Um, and maybe not relationship, but just good vibes and yeah. just being OK. So we've gotten to a point now where we've been able to talk and see how we're doing. And we both are really happy that we're both doing well. Yeah. Just I, maturity, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's it's growth. It's growth. But for you real. were one of the young, like we were one of the youngest ones on the show. So I yeah. feel like in the past four years, like obviously, like we've grown, and it's beautiful when you can take something that was like toxic and kind of crazy, and then come back to that person and be like, okay, we're cool and everything's fine. Yeah. And I like appreciated when you were part of my life like that. Yeah. And now you're a part of my life, not like that. But yeah. I respect you, and I, I hope you well, like <laughs> it, do well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's been really good. Yeah. And then Carol from our season is literally married. I did not know that. <laughs> I know. I told her when she first came in. And she was like, what? Yeah, she's literally married. Uh, she's always been such a love bug, though. She yeah. Loves, no, loves. it makes sense. Yeah. It makes so much sense. I feel like she even got slightly a bad rep because everyone's like, oh, she was bouncing around on our show. And I'm like, no, she was just like freely being herself. And like, yeah, she really, you could tell, wanted to find someone and find love. And why is that a bad thing? Exactly. You know? And the whole point of these shows is to figure out which connection is the best. Explore. Exactly. Like, so yeah. So when, when somebody sees somebody like flirting with someone and they, they start to form a bond, they're like, oh my God, there's such a terrible person and I feel like also Weston got such a bad rep and I feel like some of his moves were slightly shady Yeah. but again he was just trying to find the best connection for him yeah. and in doing that you have to explore your options and you have to get to know yeah. other people um, even if you do form a connection with somebody mm-hmm. you got to see if that's the real connection that you yeah. want or if there's something better for you and, yeah, and I think those are the more authentic people on these shows like obviously yeah if you're not like treating people like wrong and that's how you're bouncing around like that's not cool but I think a lot of people are romantic size the people that just like couple up and they stick with the same person the yeah. whole way through and they never try anything else and that seems a little bit more in the fake side to me because I'm like in the real world you would never yeah. do that maybe yeah you'd meet someone and be like okay they're the one cool but in that villa in that environment you really are supposed to like try different things and yeah. learn more about yourself and and go through these ups and downs to really test your relationship and see if it's going to work on the outside yeah you know exactly. so it's interesting but okay so for Love Island Games did they hit you up for it because I was like oh I'm <laughs> getting hit up for this Emily's definitely coming they did they did hit me up and honestly I was at a time where I was building I was starting my own skincare company which I'm really excited yes. about what is it called facey plug it facey facey company um we have an Instagram we have a TikTok and up until this point it's all 
all been about tips and tricks of taking care of your skin and being healthy. And for me, I feel like when I was first approached about the opportunity of starting a company, mm-hmm. um, I was asked if I wanted to do a makeup line. Mm-hmm. And I was like, honestly, no. <laughs> because Kylie lip kit. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, I don't know shit about makeup. I don't know how to put makeup on. I don't know anything about makeup. I'm like, well, you're gorgeous. Oh, you barely need it. So it's thank fine. Yeah. Well, that's what I want everyone to feel. I want everyone yeah. to feel like they're beautiful without makeup. And I think that's why I, I wanted to do skincare because it's so important to be actually healthy and beautiful yeah. and feel comfortable and confident in your own skin. Yeah. So that's Can why. I get some samples? Yeah, of <laughs> course. Duh. You're, you're going to be the first one. So we're actually getting our product. Our, everything is going to be ready in four weeks. And it's been a long journey. I've been working wow. on this for a year now. Wow, because that's I'm, amazing, Emily. Yeah, yeah, I'm such a perfectionist and I want my product to be actually bomb as fuck. Like yeah. I want people to use it and be like, this shit actually works and it's amazing. So I've been spending all of my time and energy into building this company. So when I was approached about doing Love Island Games, I was at a point where I'm like, right now I need to focus on this project that I'm working on yeah. and I need to take it seriously because... You're busy being a boss. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I knew, I'm a boss ass bitch. So I was like, I would love to do it, but I'm, but right now I, I can't dedicate any of my time to yeah. something else, especially when we do a show like this, you go away, you don't have your phone, you don't have any communication with the outside world. So I knew that it wasn't going to be something that I'd be able to focus on if mm-hmm. I did the show. But watching the show, I regret, I regret not going <laughs> on. It's such a good show. I wish, I really wish you did too. And it was even crazy for me because I definitely thought you're going on. Like, I think I was in the hotel room up until and you hit me up about Facey. And then I was talking to Ray and I was like, oh, is she like, is she coming? Like, I don't know. I was like nervous to ask you even. Ah, you should and- have. Because if I knew you guys were doing it, I would have fucking made it work. <laughs> and we actually did have our phones in quarantine. I know. That was Ray really- FaceTimed me. Yeah. So He's like, you good. should be here. I'm like, you're there? I'm like, yeah. who else is there? He's like, Kira. I'm like, <laughs> No, <laughs> it would have been our th- third show together too, which would have been insane. Like we're just like the people from season one that they're like, y'all were the good ones. Come to these I other know, shows. Exactly, exactly. But, yeah, but it was so weird even coming off of this one because I coupled up with a girl Megan on there, and even though we were together in there, people didn't. They got mad at her while we were in there for obviously something that happened. But all the edits would be like me and her, but then they'd be like, but this is the end game. This is the yeah, end story, yeah. and it would be edits all the way back from our season of Love Island, and then even like from some of our trips or crazy trips together <laughs> afterwards um but it was just like wow people are still just so team in love. emily and kira team emily and kira in love yeah. with like a couple that didn't even couple up but everyone just wanted it so yeah bad. but they should have you know i, I mean? wanted it so bad i know and watching the show i was really punching the air like with <laughs> i i'm punching the air with everyone that i see coupled with kira but i was really excited when you coupled up with megan because i was like she's got a couple with megan megan's hot as fuck i'm like oh my god but so but even you guys when you did, get along too well, yeah i feel you like guys, she's because yeah. she's also very very much like she doesn't care what anyone thinks or says she's gonna do what she wants to like do like i have a type or something you know it's, I know, it's right? crazy <laughs> right so when i was watching and i was like so excited that you coupled up with her but i was also like that should be me like everyone that cure couples up with i'm like that should be me literally i saw a tiktok that people were tagging me and it was just like you texted me the video too in a group chat with the ray and you're like i so mad oh my you're just like God. belly dancing and doing up. whatever you're doing i'm like yeah I she's still hot <laughs> but no you were like i fucked up i should have gone on the show i like, know why didn't i go on because i'm like everyone like here comes up with them like they're good but i'm better yeah, you are <laughs> oh, yeah you I'm are <laughs> so no, i mean obviously i like i coupled up with carrington the last i think two days i was there but still single and i was just like damn you never know future wise i'm like maybe season two will get a chance yeah season two <laughs> so what you in? do season two of course 100 yeah. percent now that Facey's getting off the ground and yeah. it's going to be launching and all the hard hard work is done yeah. and now I'm like well now I have a lot of free time so I'm spending all my time watching the show and yeah. I'm like oh my god I want to do season two so bad so hopefully yeah. hopefully and guys I'm trying to drag her out tonight to a little screening party with the whole cast yeah so when this episode comes out if you didn't see her out with me tonight it's because she chose to not go out oh okay? my god stop. <laughs> I'm well, putting all the pressure on you right yeah, now they're telling me her and Ray are telling me about it today <laughs> I live in Miami so I packed for LA but I didn't pack for like Ray's like it's a red carpet I event give you something to wear I already told you that oh I said, I need a date for tonight. Come on. You can't have me showing up <laughs> alone. <laughs> okay. 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 So right now I'm just going to say yes. So let I me, still don't believe her, but we'll see guys. Let me just go home and see if my girl or something has something to wear. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to make it. I okay, think I'm go, going go, to. Good. But no, I feel like just our whole experience together from like four years ago and continue to stay in each other's lives. And I also forgot to ask you this in the beginning. And I just love asking people this. Like, how do you feel right now at this point in your life? Like just a wellness check. Like where 
where's your head at? How are you feeling in this moment? You know, with everything. I'm feeling really good. Honestly, this is a time in my life where I really do feel at peace. Yeah. And I feel like when I was younger, I did have the tendency to love toxicity. Yeah. So I feel like I was in toxic relationships and I was just all over, all over the place with my head. But right now I'm at a place where I've really grown a lot yeah. and I've surrounded myself with people, genuine people that are good energy, good vibes, and that motivate me to be the best version of myself yeah so right now yeah i'm doing really really well and i'm really happy yeah i'm happy that you're happy i'm happy that you're just like here it's only for a couple days but i would still love to see you more obviously yes i know we need to make that happen i'm gonna try to come to come out to la more and you gotta try to to come to miami yeah (laughs) but i'm so so freaking happy guys facey check it out skincare she has beautiful skin i'm gonna start putting myself onto it too yes that's so exciting we love a boss woman we love someone chasing their dreams and doing their thing and that's exactly what you're doing yeah it's what i'm trying to do with this podcast as well and just so amazing getting on here and being honest with you guys but guys i'm so happy emily was our third guest and i think that was just i think that was great yeah (laughs) okay guys so thank you so much for tuning in again once again i'll put all of emily's socials in my little description box below and where you can find her but thank you so much for tuning in again and i will see you guys next week so what do we say to wrap up this podcast thank you for having coffee with kira (laughs) thank you for coming thank you for having me bye guys